Example two. Okay, we have a rigid steel bar. Why this bar is supported by three rods shown here, two L1 and one L2. After load P is applied, the normal strain in rod two is 1080 micro strain. So assume initial rod length of L1 is 54 inch and L2 is 120 inch. So determine the normal strain in rod one. Okay, so in this system, you are given the strain, normal strain of rod 2, and you are requested to calculate the normal strain in rod 1. Okay, so let's um, analyze this system first. So first of all, it said this bar, this steel bar, ABC, the green color thing, is rigid. So what does that mean? The rigid means that this bar will not deform. It will not deform in any formation, in, in any form. Okay, it will not be elongated, not be shortened, and not not be bended. Okay, in this case, um, particularly, uh, that means ABC, this bar, under load, uh, after deformation of L1, L2, it will always be parallel with the original ABC. So as shown here. Uh, as shown here, so after you add the load P, um, when these bars are elongated, this ABC, this bar will not will always be parallel with the original position. Okay. By seeing that, um, we can also know that since this bar, the bar one L one, is tied to this rigid bar ABC at point A and the other one tied to it at point C. Right, so the we can we can write that the delta one this is the elongation of um, elongation at here of the of this first bar one here. Okay and the bar one here. Delta one will always equal delta A, equal delta C, and equal delta B, and equal delta two, okay? If this bar ABC is always parallel with its original position, so the elongations of uh, these three bars and the uh, displacement of this point ABC will always be the same. Okay, so this long equation sounds trivial. It looks trivial, but you will see in later examples you will see that this is not trivial. So you especially when you have a hole at the connection, so you will you will know how this uh, equation will be changed. Okay, so this equation is not trivial. Okay, it's just it's very useful in this analysis. You just need to know that the delta one, delta two, those are the elongations of the bars. They are equal. They are always equal to each other, and they're equal to the displacement of these points A, B, C on this um, rigid bar. Okay, so based on this analysis, let's solve this problem. Well, this is the first. Uh, first of all, let's uh, look at what we're determining. Okay, we're determining the normal strain in rod one. Okay, we're determining epsilon one. Okay, what is epsilon one? How can we calculate this? So, based on our equation, our definition of normal strain, you should know that to calculate this one, we need to know delta one. Right, the elongation of bar one over the original length of L1. Do we know L1? We already know L1 is listed here, so we know L1 already. We just need to determine what? Determine the delta one, okay, the elongation of this bar. Then what is delta one? Do we know this? We don't know this, but we need to calculate this. So based on our analysis, we already know that Delta one equals what? Delta one. 
delta one equals delta two. And what is delta two? What is delta two? Delta two equals what? Delta two equals epsilon two times L two. Okay, we know L two, and we know epsilon two. Epsilon two is here. Okay, so now we can we can solve this. Um, we can solve it step by step. So here is our first step. Right, our first step. In the first step, since we already know that uh, uh, epsilon two epsilon two equals one o uh, eight o micro strain, so that is ten to negative six strain. Okay, from our equation, our uh, core equation that epsilon equals what equals delta over l. Right, so we can calculate delta two. Delta two equals epsilon two times L two. That is one o eight o ten to negative six times one hundred and twenty inch. Okay, so we got uh, zero point one two nine six inch. So this is delta two, okay. So now we will know that the second step is here. In the second step, uh, delta one equals delta two equals zero point one two nine six inch, and then the last step, right? The last step, step number three, epsilon one equals Delta one over L one. So that is zero point one two nine six inch over fifty four inch. Okay, we got two thousand four hundred micro strain. Okay, or 2400 micro strain.